So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions and you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Guys and welcome to a brand new video and episode 2 of 0 to 2 million in 5 days PS4 edition. So we've uh, managed to sell on loads and loads of cards with Shadow overnight. When cards do sell on they do take the Shadow off so I understand that is just why you do not see any Shadow on the cards. Sold on again, fair few of our League and Silvers so not looking too bad. Basically going to give us 90k to start the day with. Uh, which should just last an effortly shadow trade all day. Not have that kind of awkward position you're in where you kind of run out of coins because you're waiting on stuff to sell and obviously we've still got lots of deals selling on right there. So without further ado, let's go jump into some shadow trading. So sometimes what can happen is the market can be a little bit uh, rough, especially on old gen in terms of buying stuff. So what I do is I actually have everything that I sell on from the shadow method, I actually write down as data. And what I'm doing right now is just going through the players that I have data on one by one by one and see if there's any deals. So, for example, Tiena yesterday, who was 3.9k, if someone pops up at 3k, I'd go and buy him and send him at 3.9k. And then over to Greylish, again, a really weird car, but he does sell on. Greylish sold on for 3.7k yesterday. Let's see. So what I do is I'll go and pick these up, and even if it takes me on lazy buyers, I'll go and buy these at 2.7, and I'll sell them, on, you know, sell them on for 3.7 during the day. So, if any of you guys are doing shadow trading, I'll show you some of the deals got earlier as well, but... For any of you guys that are doing shadow trading, as long as there hasn't been like a market crash or anything like that, you know, it should be all good to just go for them one by one by one and just see if there are any deals. Especially, again, you've got to make sure you have recent data. If you've done a recent data, obviously, there could have been a fluctuation and the last thing you do is get caught out in a fluctuation. Sorry. Sorry, last thing you would be get, uh, get caught out and is the market crashing. So, we have managed to get ourselves loads of sales and even more deals. So, in terms of stuff selling on... I think I was showing you guys earlier about me mass buying players if I just saw them for cheap. But there you go. Going to sell on some Dignies. All the regular ones paid to about 3. Managed to sell on for 3.8k of a shadow. So capitalised on a nice little fluctuation right there. And we've gone and picked up loads of deals. I don't know if I was showing this filter. But uh, the filter I've been using is going Silver Res over to Legion. And I've been basically putting a buy now of about 1k. Uh, and then scroll into the end. And this is working really well because we just had squad battles. So a lot of election packs, a lot of mix packs being open, a lot of cards being put onto the trans sorry, a lot of players being put on the trans market. And what I'm doing is I'm pressing compare price to back out and I'm buying any defenders that pop up, any right mids that pop up, or anyone who's just used for weekend league. And anybody wonder or oh, not weekend league, silver stars. And the relevance of using players for silver stars, if I can load up the player right now, is that everyone this weekend is going to be using our good friend Mrs. Sulemana. Because everyone is going to be using him, um, I think I, I'm not, I think I might have just explained this, but I guess I'll explain it again. Why not? Uh, because everyone's going to be using him, the links to him are going to do very well this week. So any like striker with over 80 pace, any send mid with over 70 pace, I'm basically picking up right now, and I'll probably sell on lazy buyers until uh, Wednesday, or just like have them in my unassigned to Wednesday. Oh, left back, that is amazing. <laughs> so I'll have about 3k if I'm not wrong. So yeah, just sitting on this field and I picked up lots of deals. So. There you go, let's go and show you guys the deals we managed to pick up. So, picked up lots of these with Shadow. Got some decent deals here, to be honest. 7.5 he sells for. Uh, Claw sells at like 4.9, so nothing too crazy. But yeah, a few decent cards. Let's see if there's any decent highlights. This guy would do pretty well. Picked him up for 950. 79 pace sentiment. I think it literally sells at 3k, so decent buy there. Chekariki, 5 star skills, 5 star weak for it. Bet I'll get 2k from on Lazy Buys. In fact, I sold him on last night for 2k Lazy Buys. Got loads of uh, Gibelus, I believe I get. Uh, he's very cheap, I'm not going to actually do very well this week in League. 86 pace League and the Striker. Um, another Chikira and a few Gibelus. Uh, got a Wah. wah but uh, yeah, so a lot of these go for lazy buys and we'll just look at maybe selling them on Wednesday. But yeah, just a nice little cheap investment we're picking up over on the uh, Rose of Glory. You're doing shallow trading every now and again, just go and check the Silvers. Just going to pick up an Henry, an Henry, a Henry right here at 2.9k. Should honestly be able to go and sell him for about 5.9k. So really, really nice buy right there on the uh, likes of Henry. Also managed to go and pick myself up earlier at Benat at uh, 3k. And he's going to go up there for 4 or 5. So non-rares and silvers are something you can very easily trade with. Once again, with silvers, all I'm doing is just putting literally silver. Buy now for it for about 5k, 6k even. Scroll to 5th and 9th minute. Just seem to see most popular players on, you know, looking at Henry, Twenzebe, 
you know, a lot of the wing backs from major leagues uh, with like over 80 pay, well, over 90 pay are good. You've got Froome Pong's good, obviously, of uh, Leverkusen. Ballo's pretty good right there. Um, let's see what you got. Nothing too crazy, yeah. There you go. So this guy right here was going for 7 9 yesterday. He's probably down a little bit because of marquee matchups, but it's all good. Somerville, you don't really want to a shadow, but. As you can see, yeah, another silver deal. Should be pretty easy right now to pick him up. We were sending him at 7.9k all last night. I don't want to see about 7.9, so he's still going to be a rare card with Shadow, so not too bad whatsoever. A few Shadow deals, and also went and like mass bought a few players, but uh, Kuna's bought here at 3.5, 4, and 4, going to flip up for 4.9k. Simtieni's bought at 3, 3, and 2.8, going to get flipped up there for 3.9. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, Sandro bought at 3, 3, going to flip up at 3.9. Uh, Teller's going to flip at 4, 6. Uh, Romero, I think, got a bit three, so nothing too crazy on that. In regards to stuff selling on, I think we sold on a few shadow deals. There we go. Where are we going sold on? Muki Lele bought two five, and Coco we bought for about K, so not too bad. So I think I've just innovated a really good filter. I, so I'm, I'm kind of playing around with stuff because I'm struggling with a very mainstream filter. So what I've started doing is going minimum by now two K, maximum by now three K, minimum by now two K, so I don't have to compete with the people. Who are doing the shadow filter whatsoever? Maximum by now 3k, so I don't have to scroll many pages. And what I keep doing is basically scroll into the fifth ninth minute. And because I already know how much every right and left back sells for because I've been doing the method quite a lot, I can basically scroll here, see if there's any deals. No deals, perfect. I'll back out, switch over to left back, lower the maximum bid just to make sure it is going to refresh the filter. Should refresh it anyway if I keep on switching between left back and right back. Then I scroll to the fifth ninth minute on left backs and I go, all right, are there any deals on left backs? Because once again, Left backs and right backs are where the majority deal is like, yes, there are. There's a Dickney deal. Perfect. Bought that. I'm going to flip it at 4 2. I actually think this, this filter's banging. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, the more I hype it up, the more my Twitch team is going to do it and the less efficient it is. But what I'm kind of realizing with Olgen, you've got to innovate different things. You know, like, well, like I said in last episode, I was looking at silver cards with Shadow. The reason that works is because it's different. You know, not me, it's not very mainstream. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. Me recommending a trading method is, I guess, comes to my own demise because. I'll oh, send so many people that direction that, you know, they end up doing well. And then, I don't know, people talk to other people about doing well. And in theory, the method just gets more and more competitive the more and more people I send to it. So, what basically, um, what does it say? What I, be what I basically need to do, what you guys can do is kind of innovate your own stuff, you know? So, right now, I, I guess I've quote, unquote, innovated this one. And it's, it's nothing, it's not crazy. It's not like I've just, you know, invented the internet or something. It was actually invented by an Australian. Ironically, as Australians have very bad internet. But... You basically just keep on switching between left back and right back because this is where I get the most deals. I get the most deals in Shadow Train between left back and right back. And again, all it takes about, even though obviously it's laggy as hell, uh, it takes a few searches. There we go. Perfect. Could have bought him at 2 7. Problem with him is because he's got a minimum bid, he would have popped up under the other filter and other people could have bought him. If I wanted, I could go minimum bid. What is it? Minimum bid 1.5. Because now I'm not even going to get anyone who's going to pop under their filter and I'll have even less pages to scroll through. But it will take Shadow off. See how many pages I have to scroll through. Minimum 1.5k. Maximum of everything. There you go. I'm only going to have to scroll six pages. Are there any deal on the six pages? Not really. Ideally, looking for main leagues only. Let's right, see what we got. Right backs. So, what I'm doing right now is literally switching between these two. I could also go CDMs if I wanted. But, um. Yeah. Right back. No, nothing there. But yeah, that's the filter I'm doing at the moment. Picked up a fair few good deals. So I'm going to show you. Head over here to the store. And let's see. So I've kind of been able to mass buy some cards. Muka Lele, I sold earlier on PlayStation. Bundesliga, Muka Lele. 3.7k, so not bad. Got it 2.9, going to sell at 3.7. Uh, so I'm going to get a little 600 coin profit right there. Another 600 coin profit, but again, it's easy profit. You know, it's easy deals. There you go. 500 coins profit right there. Good deal on Dickney. Got him at 3. Sold him at 4. Oh, I sold this at 4.2. Can I get more for Dickney, maybe? I oh, don't no, get 4.7 for Dickney. There you go. Nice little 1.5k profit right there. So you can see this filter seems way, way, way less competitive. Um, but yeah, so it's, all you got to do is innovate stuff. In fact, talk about innovative. Why not Why not go and let's, uh, let's have a look at the silver one. So that's one filter you guys can go and use on, um, on old gen. The other filter, again, I'm, I'm enjoying using at the moment is going over here. Just throwing in, again, I literally showed it earlier in the video, silver, shadow, 
Maximum buy now is 606k. The problem with this one is it's a, it takes a little bit more market knowledge. Obviously, silvers are quite alien to a lot of people, so you can always use Footbin to check what they go for. Pay no more than, let's say, 1.5k more of a shadow. But yeah, I've had some really, really good deals on uh, Silver Shadow if we can uh, get to the fifth ninth minute. Here we go. Go back a page. Let's see what we're going to get. Nope. Ooh, could be good. I mean, I've, I'll be honest, I'll probably buy that because I've sold them at 6k in the past. Should have bought that. Could have sold it at 6k, but yep, those are the two filters we like. Red filter. Uh, we've been picking up a few deals. Let's go and show you guys what we picked up. We're also on 4k, so I'll either do a bit of silver trading right now or I'll uh, just do one of the advanced SPCs. So, Yuri uh, Benedeschi got here at 3. We're going to go and sell him for 4.4, so not a bad flip right there. Uh, next card, Grimaldo bought at 2. Going to flip at 2.9. Going to have to sell him slight lazy buys. Gunner got at 2.5. Going to go and sell him at 3.5. Also, when checking the price of Gunner, I actually picked another one up for 2.6. Going to flip that at 3.5. Next, picked up uh, Schultz. I actually didn't check the price, Schultz. Uh, Masuka, actually a little bit underwhelming. Only going to be a seller for 3.7. Uh, Emerson, we got here at 3. Going to flip him for 3.7. And a really good deal right here. We've got to sell Frimpong at 2.4. We're going to go and flip him just under 6k. So, once again, Silver Deal is always coming up tops uh, with the air cards. I'll probably list them up for about 3.5 lazies. I know it's not actually worth too much more than 3k. So, yeah, not too bad. Bunch of Silver Deals. Let's see what's interesting. It's got Frank of Vos Voskies, whatever. Sell them on 2k for lazy buys. Jakiri sold earlier at 2k, so I'll go and sell that one. Sold this guy for like 2.5k earlier, because he's actually used for generic SVCs. Uh, just got a few generic right mids. You know, I say French Ligon. Probably, I'll be honest, I'll just sell it all for 2k on lazy buys. We're, uh, we are a little bit trickle block on the chance of this, but I think we'll be, uh, we'll be all good. Plan of action off this is to go and do a bit of shadow trading. I mean, at the end of the day, we have actually just gone and sold on 12 cards. So, loads of silver deals. Change over a bit of shadow trading. Yeah, there you go. Oh, everyone's going to load up. There you go. There's the Chikari. We just picked another one up just now for 800 coins. So, happy days. Silver and Shadow deal. Sell a bunch of Emersons and a bunch of the Silvers when we buy. Again, I can always just lazy selling for a K. But because people are using them for SVCs, happy, happy days. Uh, we've gone and replaced them with some more deals. 12 deals to be very specific. All right, well, we managed to pick ourselves up then. We've got a Mount Kui. Weird deal on him, but we've gone at three. Sell that for four. Just see me sell two Emersons, I think, for three, seven. Got both of these at three. Uh, Teclafico, two, five, still at three, five. Kappa, we sell at 4.2. But now we're going to sell at 4.5. Montio, this is a good one. Going to sell him at 4.9, so, yeah, not bad. Uh, we'll go and, um, yeah, go and sell that on and just pick a more Shadow Do It's really the most efficient thing to do. Oh, we've gone and picked up loads of deals. Uh, we're actually, uh, we've gone poor. We, we don't have any coins left. But, well, I guess we'll show you what we've uh, sold on. Bunch of Akunas bought at 4k earlier. Tackle Fico bought under the filter. Tellers bought under the filter. Mukalele bought under the filter. Bernat and Emerson bought under the filter. And then lots of the Silvers just saw me buy earlier for 1k. A lot of them are selling on for 2k. So, not bad uh, if we can get through to them. And in about 10 minutes time, when I can show you what we've just bought. There you go. Let's go and show you some of the deals we've just gone and picked up. Dignate. Gonna sell him for 4.7. Uh, scroll along. Weird one, Sane. Gonna go and sell. Ah, it's not amazing that. Gonna only sell him for 4.5. Uh, Havertz gonna go and sell him at 5.6. That's decent. Barella, I need to learn the price of. Sandra, I think it's about 4k. Uh, where else we got? Lodi. Gonna go and sell Lodi at 5. Point, well, actually, 5k. Uh, Lamine, not too sure what he's going for. Oh, yeah, picked up a bunch of Onyankas. Sold him earlier at 4k, so I saw three in the market for cheapo, so I'm just gonna wipe them all up. And go list them up at 4k. Going to make 500 coins to maybe about 800 coins per card. So, small profits, but, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, I think is the uh, the right phrase to use. But, show you guys when. I'll be honest, if you're due to the coin total, I'll actually probably just go and do the, uh, a set of advanced SBCs. So, we've gone and done a uh, advanced SBC. Uh, nothing really too crazy. Going to get ourselves a mega pack. I forget I actually have so many golds in my club I'm yet to sell on. So, really going to be trying to work on getting as many coins ready for 6 p.m. Sorry. You're looking at the wrong screen, how embarrassing. Well, that was my Xbox account. Well, I, I put in an SVC. Uh, you have to take my word for it. I haven't just randomly got a 35k pack credited for my account. I see we're going to get in 35k pack. We've obviously already packed for Ron. Hello, who are you? You're Matt Hummels, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I swear he glitched out and he got, like, he was bigger and he glitched out and just made him skinnier. Unless that was, like, his t shirt moving around. But there you go, it's something. It is anything in there with Mr. Matt Hummels? Um, I mean, they're, they're something, but they're not amazing. Hunter Kemp's out. Oh, yeah, still got a shadow. Oh, no, I don't know. I saw that yesterday, but... Yeah. 
There you go. Nothing crazy, but there we go. Another SVC, I decided to show you on the screen this time. It is going to be the Prime Pack. Uh, or, sorry, no, the, I don't know, penultimate pack until I've done the, uh, the whole of this set. Currently sitting on 40k, if I can ideally get, I don't know, if I can get like 50, 60, 70k for 6pm, that would be great. More coins you have at 6pm, in theory, the more money you can make. And is this going to help me make money? Flappy Anski, I do not believe you are going to help me make too much money. There you go. Anything else in there with Flappy Anski? We're going to get... Okay, okay, well, we do get some silvers that would be expensive. Ooh, very expensive silver there, Dan. Uh, this guy is also not worth nothing. Um, yeah, we'll do is we'll get that pack sold on and uh, crack underway with the uh, the last SBC of this set. Last SBC. Um, but there we go, Prime Mixed Player Pack. Let's go and submit that right there. Looking good. No, thank you. Cool. Um, but if we can head over to the packs, that'd be great. Uh, rare mega pack, rare mix. There we go. Open up the play pack. Probably send it all to the club or we'll discard where for plebs. And then, uh, yeah, so start getting ready for 6 p.m. Uh, Turkish center back's gonna be Pikachu. Pika, Pika. We got in there with me, with you. You got Forfona. Oh, you got Meridio. He actually sells on for some good, good dinero. Oh, wow, we get this guy. He also sells on for some good, good money. So, very nice right there. We're gonna send that all to the club and go and open up the rare mega pack. He said. Here we go, rare mega pack. I can't remember what we got from the last one. I think we got like Costitch from the last one. So, what's this one got for me? It's a running man. It's Tiago. There we go. Although, he, he's actually quite funny. He's wearing a kit that doesn't actually have player names on the back. So, what he's done right there is he's he's just he's pointed to the sponsor. That was a that was a big old set up move right there, Tiago. I'm not gonna lie. He literally ran on was like, there they are. Nicholas Bentner with the Paddy Power Boxers almost. But um, we do get ourselves Mendy. We get ourselves uh, Mr. Camavinga, a Serbi, a Cardi. Uh, get a Shadow Kemsel, who's going for good money. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Uh, I say what we'll do is get this stuff sold on and we'll try and stop hard as many coins ready for 6 pm. Quite a lot of Shadow deals we've, uh, but I say quite a lot. But Mukalele, so commonly we're flipping for 3k, uh, 737. Just under that filter where I use 2.2k minimum by now, 3k max by now, 1.6k minimum bid. Shadow and then right back, left back, left wing back. I get him so commonly in that. TNA board a three, sold a three nine, and Balotore got for under actually the left back, right back uh, filter for two point four k, sold for three nine. So once again, a silver coming through, and making me a bit of money. A few sales. Uh, oh, we sold one of the golden rares. I've been selling on Lazy Wire. It's beautiful. On top of that, we got ourselves uh, a few League of Nos sales, and as always, silvers appeared to have like one k selling for two k. And uh, as always, we got ourselves loads of shadow deals. So I've actually changed the filter up a little bit. I'll uh, show you what the new filter. I've changed it up to. Uh, but yeah, a few decent deals on here. Got like Di Lorenzo at 3k. Go and flip that for 4.5k. So I've got myself a Henry right here. As I say, I do write down all the prices I sell cards for. So, so we got Henry. This is a bang, wasn't it? 3.7. Perfect. Flipped him earlier at 5.9. So we'll go and take that. Uh, I don't know what else can we show you. TNE. Sold him at 3.9 earlier. So pretty chill. Uh, this was, this guy is pretty cool. So I think his base is probably about 2k or 1.5. But uh, yeah, silver player, probably good for the um, probably good for the old uh, silver stars frame up there at four nine. Now I've changed the filter up a little bit just because um, I don't know the, the previous filter kind of got a bit mugged off, so I thought I'd you know, change it around a little bit, see how it goes. That is now what do I get for? I've got in I think one fifty, one point two, one point six, nine point nine. So what I've done with it is I've decreased the maximum bid a little bit and I've also decreased the minimum buy now. And then what we're doing is we're then going to scroll to the fifth knife minute. Uh, it's going to take absolutely ages, especially if I forget to put shadow on. But yeah, I mean, it does take about 15 minutes to scroll to the fifth knife minute. But it's the same mold. I won't bother showing you me scrolling to the fifth knife minute. But it's the same mold. It just means I can get players for a lower buy now. It's because, I guess, gold cards with shadow have started to drop and drop and drop. Um, yeah, let's, there you go. It's not actually that bad. Only nine pages. And say, so same old, just compare price back out. Card pops up. If it's, you know, 1k cheaper than what I normally buy, well, than what they normally sell for, I'll go and buy them. If not, I'll let them be. Sancho, what's Claude Marie's? It's not bad. I mean, they can't, it's a weird, weird one, because it's been converted from a cam to a striker, but then been put a defensive cam sort of a shadow on. So, 
Bit of a weird one, but yeah, so it just allows me to win these cards at a lower buy now, which is quite nice. So again, we've got lots of sells and buys, so let's go and show you guys what we got. we got ourselves a Hendog at 2, going to sell him at 3.5, let me just put it in the right stick. Sell him at 3.5, sell that at 4.7, that's sorry. Sell him at 2.9, sell him at 2.5, sell him at 3.5, sell him at 3.8, sell him at 4.5, I think, 5. Tiena was sell at 3.5, Guntner was sell at 3.5, Schultz was sell at 3.5. Orienka will sell at 4k, Emerson will sell at 3.7, and then we've still got loads and loads of bleeding Kolarovs. Do you have any uh, dupes on the rares? No, wait. oh yeah, well, there you go, Vera 2, there you go, sell him for 3.5 and sell him for 3.5. So, some decent uh, decent buys once again on Shadow Trading, still get rid of all the uh, annoying Kolarovs. Seven things are sold on, please be some of the Serial non rares. No. Fekir, we bought at 4k. Lemar, we, Lemar, we bought at 2. Capo, I think we bought at 3. Uh, Montiel, we bought at 4. Henry, Henry, we bought for like 2.9, I think it was earlier. Uh, him bought at 1k and him bought at 1k. So, yeah, not too bad. Right here, I think Navas was a bit of a miss buy. I should be able to maybe sell him for 8k. Uh, Henry, as always, going to buy for 2.9. Going to sell him for like, what, 4.9 or something like that? We're going to go for 5.9 even. So, really, really good on that. But that, another one going to go and flip for 4.5. Short is going to go and flip for 2.5. Uh, Zelinsky should be flipped for about 3.9. Rafinha, I'm not too sure what we're selling for, but I know he's got quite rare recently, so not bad. Um, and uh, yeah, the power about 2.9k, so not bad as a cause of a little bit slow at the moment, but we are chock a block with uh, gold non rares, so. Oh, there you go. Emerson, Odnienku, and Claus. Happy, happy days. As I once they do sell them with Shadow, it does take the Shadow Chem style off them. So we are going to be calling it a night for the uh, for the Road to Glory. Just on a quick total up on the uh, club, we're currently seeing on about 490k's worth of, uh, I guess, cards, deals, and total coins. Which isn't too bad. I guess, in theory, I could make nothing on the first day. And as long as I can make 500k a day from then onwards, we'll hit the uh, 2 million. So it's not actually looking too bad. Again, I was, I was kind of struggling a little bit today. Which is why I've innovated a few different um, filters, including the one where I just go 2k minimum. 3k maximum, shadow, left back, right back, left wing back, right wing back. Likewise with the silvers. Uh, but yeah, so we'll get the cards list up over the night. Uh, got ourselves over 50 deals on the tramps list. Over here, I'll say 50 deals, but got ourselves a lot of gold cards with shadow. In fact, I probably have more than about 490. Might be closer to 500, because uh, obviously we do have cards that aren't being shown. Sold on lots and lots of cards here, 17. So the cash flow is actually not being too bad. In the last road to glory, we had a little bit of a mayor of a cash flow. You can see all these shadow deals selling on. Uh, we're even starting to shift again, the odd non-rare, and uh, yeah, not looking too bad. Something, some, something that some people wanted to see in the last episodes was me go on my trans profit. Again, trans profit doesn't mean anything, and on top of that, well, in my opinion, on top of that, obviously, I have like 500k's worth of deals selling on, so what is the trans profit saying? Trans profit is saying 388k. Again, you got to understand there's about 400k's worth of cards I've bought and selling. You'll never see me be very liquid, because it's just not efficient to be liquid. Um... But yeah, there we go. That's what the um, that is what the uh, the trans profit is looking like. And again, once we sell those cards, obviously they'll be quite heavily inflated. So that is going to be it for a episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Tomorrow's episode, what do we have? Um, a fair bit of shadow trading by, by surprise. Uh, might do a bit of inform investing. Maybe a bit of pre team week investing. I do want to get some uh, silver league um players ready for um, what's it called? ready for the Silver Stars on this Wednesday. But thank you very much for watching episode two. We'll see you guys tomorrow with uh, a brand new episode of the uh, zero to two million in five days over on PlayStation 4.